Hi guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get this warm fall smoky eye look. I'm going to start by priming my face using the Too Faced Hangover Primer. Next, I'm going in with the MAC Face and Body Foundation in the shade C1, and I'm going to be applying that all over the face using my hands. I like to rub it in and then I kind of pat it out. I feel like it gives it a better finish. Now I'm going to go in with the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Concealer in the shade Porcelain. And I'm just going to blend that out using a damp beauty blender. I'm now going to go in using the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Amber and I'm going to be buffing that out using my Real Techniques buffing brush. I like to switch back and forth between my brush and my beauty blender just to make sure everything is blended very seamlessly. I'm going to be going in with the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Celestial and I'm going to just put a few drops on the back of my hand and dip my beauty blender into that and just apply it to the face. Now going in with the Marc Jacobs Bronzer in the shade Tantastic on a Morphe E3 brush and I'm just applying that everywhere I put my Fenty Beauty Match Stick just to kind of bronze up the face a little bit more. Next I'm going to fill in my brows using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade number 3. If I make any mistakes, I like to just go in with a clean foundation brush and clean up the edges. I don't use any product, it just kind of helps wipe away any mistakes that I might have made.
I like the start of my brows to be a lot lighter than the rest, so I'll brush it out with the spoolie and then I take my beauty blender and kind of just pounce it on there a little bit to lighten it up. I don't put any product on there, I just use whatever's left over from my foundation and I feel like it just gives it a gradient kind of start to the eyebrow. Now going in with the MAC Mineralized Blush in the shade Warm Soul on a Morphe E4. I like to just apply that to the apples of the cheek and then just kind of blend it out. And to make my highlighter even more bright, I go in with the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit in the shade Forever Young on a Morphe M661. And I just apply that everywhere that I put the Cover FX drops. I'm now going to prime my lids using the MAC Prep and Prime Eyeshadow Primer and then I'm going to set that with the MAC Shadow in the shade Orb and just make sure I apply that all over the lid. Now going in with the shade Coral by MAC on a MAC 224 brush, I'm just going to be applying that all over the crease. Now going in with MAC Brown Script on a Morphe M441, I'm going to apply that in the crease just a little bit below where I applied Coral and really blend it out. Using that same eyeshadow, I then apply it to the outer corner of the eye and I just really pack it on there. I switch back and forth between all of the brushes I've been using to make sure everything is blended as nice as possible. Now going into the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, I'm going to take the shade Hunts on a MAC 217 and apply that all over the crease and the outer corner to deepen it up even more. Now going in with the shade Jax on a Morphe M433 brush and applying that to the outer corner of the lid and then blending it up into the crease.
then again switching my brushes just to make sure everything is blended as best as possible. Now going in with the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Sequin on a Real Technique Deluxe Crease Brush. I spray a little Fix Plus on there and really pack it on and then blend it in with the darker shadow I applied on my outer lid area. Now going back in the Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm using the shade Beam on a Morphe E36 brush and applying that in the inner corners and on the brow bone just for a little highlight. Now going in with the MAC eyeliner in the shade Cat's Meow, I'm going to apply that to the waterline just to kind of darken my lashes up a little bit. Now taking the brown eyeliner I got from the MAC Snowball Collection, I'm not quite sure how to say the name of it but I will put it in the description box. I'm going to apply that all over the bottom lash line and kind of smoke it out using a Morphe M432 brush. And also from the Snowball Collection I'm going to be taking the mascara that comes with it and just applying it to the lower lash line. I do have eyelash extensions so I don't apply anything to my top lashes. Then going in with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And for the lips, I'm going to apply the ColourPop Lippy in the shade Skimpy for the lip liner and the shade Cookie for the lipstick side of it. Then going in with MAC Cream Sheen Lip Gloss in the shade Boy Bait. And that is the finished look. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in my next video. Bye! Oh, and I also switched over to this darker lip look just to try it out to see how it would look for this darker fall kind of look. Um, I'll put the shades in the description box below for those of you that like this lip color.